Okay. Uh, we're in the Jack's room, film review area. Today is May 10th, 2019. Uh, we're here to review race 12 for May 4th, 2019 with uh, the following jockeys. Uh, Mr. Saez, would you please identify yourself and your profession and swear to tell the truth in these proceedings? Yes. Would you say your name and your profession, yes. please? Oh, okay, okay, yes. Uh, my name is Luis Saez, and of course, I'm telling the truth. Okay, very good. Uh, Tyler Gaffleon, I'm a jockey, and I swear to tell the truth. <laughs> Uh, Brooks Beecraft, uh, steward for the state of Kentucky. John Cord, jockey, 58 years old, of sound mind and body. And swear to tell the truth. And I swear to tell the truth. Thank you. Chris Landeros, jockey, I swear to tell the truth. Julian LePau, uh, representing Flavian Pratt, I swear to tell the truth. Ann Oldfather, attorney for Luis Saez, and I will be testifying, but I do swear to tell the truth. Brony Heddle, uh, representing Louis as a consultant, and I swear to tell the truth. Thank you. I, I choose not to speak, probably. Tyler Picklesheimer, steward. And Barb Borden, steward for the Kentucky Racing Commission. And Paul Brooker, Director of Enforcement for the Kentucky Racing Commission. I swear to tell the truth. I'm going to get this rolling. Mr. Saez, would you like to uh, tell us about your experience in this race? Yes, yes, definitely. Yes, you know, I was, I burned from the gate, right? I was in my line, I wasn't from, my horse was running pretty good. And then, like you guys see right there in the, in the throne, um, he was, you know, he was running pretty good, but then the first thing I see, he put the ears up, he put the head out a little, and then he switched the lead right there. You know, that happened so quick. I, my reaction was keep my horse straight. I grabbed him right away. I tried to, you know, uh, bring him, bring him back to to my lane because. He jumped, he made that move like he jumped out and and if you see, I the head of the horse, I grabbed him like, you know, I was pulling so hard into it, it happened so quick and, you know, that, that was, you know, that was, that was, that was the happen right there. I, it was not, it was really not my intention to come out or, or you know, bother somebody. My reaction was keep my horse straight and, you know, that happened. No, thank you. Okay, stay on the phone though, Mr. Sayers. Listen to the other riders, if you will, please. Uh, Mr. Gaffney, would you like to tell us how you I was experience? following, I was following Louis the whole way around there, basically. Um, Around the three eighth pole, his horse drifted a little bit off the fence and kind of pushed out. Um, not he didn't make any contact or anything, just everybody kind of flowed out a little bit. 
and then he corrected his horse, brought him back in, and it opened up a spot for me. So I went ahead and advanced into that spot. And like Louis said, his horse saw something. His horse switched leads. He grabbed him as soon as he could, but the damage had already been done. And no fault of Louis, just things happened up there. Mm -hmm. Mr. Court? Well, I was sitting right here, and right here you can see it's tight. Tyler bumps me there, and then bumps me again, puts me into Chris. And about that time, a scene was created where he put his horse's head in there, and that same time, Luis's horse started to veer out, and that's when things got precarious. And, uh, from there on, I was eliminated quickly. Mm -hmm. There was quite a bit of uh, banging around, bumping around. Just eliminated any chance I had some horse to finish, and that was taken away from me after getting knocked from side to side uh, consecutively at least four solid times. But my initial first bump was, was Tyler Gaffinol trying to create a scene. Mm -hmm. Right here, bam, bam, and puts this man in a bad predicament. Which, by the way, I'm glad you got out of there quick enough. It eliminated your chances too. Break while the stewards walked out of the room, so that's why it's quiet for a minute. Okay, no problem. Um, Chris, Sanders. Mm -hmm. We were all just traveling into the three eights. I thought everything was okay, and, and I think it was just a um, chain chain action from events, you know, in one gets out, it's just a domino effect from then on. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a whole lot of words. I finished 13th, but uh, maybe could have ran 8th or 9th, maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Still deserve a little chance, but I didn't have a little I'm actually kind of lucky I didn't have any more horses. Then I would have went down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I would have caught heels. But I could already see what was happening mm -hmm. before, so I already was getting ready. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's still kind of a sucky situation, but you know, I thought, I mean, uh, it looks like a perfect race. You know, Tyler's going to split out good and mm -hmm. get his horse running. I mean, he had horse. Still had horse. You know, um, but when Louis' horse jumped, uh, switched leads, and you could see him, his head was turned. I mean, what are you going to do? You know, his, his butt's this way, you know. I mean, and Tyler was already committed to make that move. He was already, you know, mm -hmm. he was already um, ready to go. Yeah. I'd like to make another statement. This head on or this view does not show the correct angle on the turn. It's hard to tell her where everybody was, but there's other views on the we're, we're gonna we're gonna we have other shows views we're gonna where try everybody and show was it. and it shows exactly what happened. Okay. Just, just we, in, a, in a minute we'll bring up. Yeah, we're gonna watch the other ones as well and we can talk about them Yeah, I thought well, I, mean, I I actually I, I said, Hey uh, you know, hey just let me out. I mean, he just went around the turn. I thought he stayed where he was. I mean, I didn't think he came. Honestly, I didn't feel like he came down on me or anything. I just felt like just all the pressure from the inside. Yeah, and it just kind of all it. affected it. I thought he stayed where he was and he rode for mm -hmm. I mean, you know. it's hard when, the, you know, me and John's horse aren't really going forward with war of will and country house. If we're going forward with them, nothing happens. We're all, you know, we're all like a nice big hurt. At that time you can see Flat and take out another lane over too, right at that time. If he doesn't do that, you guys say everything already. <laughs> no, but Flat told me, you know, he was moving obviously outside, um, making his move. 
and you know he saw we saw us kind of bolted and saw the chain reaction where he bumped uh, Isla, John, and um, and Chris. Uh, so when he did that, like you said he relieved a little bit, but he felt like he had to. He, he took a little bump too at that point, so he felt like he needed to clamp out. And uh, let's see if I can get some of these yeah, other I'll angles up. Stuart, could you yes. make sure that Louis can hear everything? Yeah, Louis, are, are you hearing us okay? Yeah, a little, a little low, but I, I try to, you know, concentrate hearing everything. Okay, you know? okay, we'll try to speak up a little bit in your direction. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna try to pull up another uh, a view, another different view. We've got several others. We just have the ability could, to watch. Could you enumerate what they might be? The other views. Uh, we probably will have a, we should have a quarter pole. Let me see what we can get. There's, there's five views total. Okay. So we'll see what, if we can, what they can show us. Here. Whenever you got to talk, it's probably a good idea for you to say your name before you start talking. That's yeah. Good. Well, thank you. That's a good idea. Well, we'll, we'll have the, you know, audio we're recording it, so we'll right. know who else so you want. Yeah, once, once we go back, I'll... Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, please say what you have. Uh, Tyler Gaffleon, I'd like to speak on this. Uh, right here, going into a turn, you can see Louis' horse comes out a little bit, and then he corrects him and comes back in, opens up the spot. No pushing, I never made contact with John, and then Louis comes out, back out again with his horse switch leads. Spot opened up because Louis' horse going, he's just drifted a little bit, but he corrected him, brought him back down to the fence and it opened up that space. I, I advance into that space, and that's when it comes, everything happens. I never pushed on John, never forced my way out. The spot opened up and I took it. Or may I ask a question? Would anybody else like to see any different view? Any yeah, could you put the other frames back up there? You want them all? Want them all? Want them all? Yeah. If you see one that you'd like for us to enlarge and look at, we can do that. Uh, excuse me, guy. Can I say something? Certainly. Uh, hello. Yes. Go yes. ahead. Yes, yes, you know, and I remember when I win the race and I said to the pony girl, I think my horse got scary from the crowd, you know, but in that point, in that moment, I, I was not really sure, you know, if it was for the crowd or for, you know, uh, people taking pictures inside or, or somebody hit it from behind. The thing was, you know, he, he jumped in that moment, you know, I, I, I could, I tried, my reaction was try to straight my horse quick as I can, and, and that was in, in, in a couple of seconds, you know, and, and, I, and I think I, you know, I, if you see, I was trying so hard to keep my horse in my lane and straight, and, you know, that was, that was, that was, that was, that was I, I feel like, you know, I tried to do my best I could, you know. Madam Stewart, would this be the time for me to ask him a mm -hmm. question? Yes. Uh, Louis, this is Anne. Mm -hmm. Yes. Y you, of course, were on the horse, right? Yes. Yes. Your fellow jocks were around the horse, running on their own horses. Uh huh. You're the only person who felt the way the horse was reacting. Describe for the stewards exactly what you felt when you were on that horse's back? Well, what, what I felt was he put the ears up, like, you know, like he reacted about something, and then he, I feel like he jumped. It, from, from his back of his butt, he was like out, 
and and I don't know. It, it, I, my team was correcting right away. That's what I, you know, I don't, I don't really want to go way out and, and drop somebody or hurt somebody. That was not my intention. So you know, that it was like real quickly being like second. They happened, and, and my reaction was right away correct my horse. You said so. the back of his butt. What did you mean? Well, the back of his butt was like going out, you know, like he jumped and he switched the lead in that pony. So I was not really sure it was for the crowd or for, you know, something he saw or something he felt from behind. I was not really sure, you know. In that moment when I said, maybe the crown, because man, I was, I was so happy that I win the Kentucky Derby. That was the dream for everybody. And, and I don't really know really what happened, you know. And was this feeling you had from the back of his butt before he switched leads and jumped or after? Yes, yes, I feel like, I don't know, maybe somebody grabbed his heel or somebody hit him from behind him. I was, I was not sure. Was it before he switched leads and jumped, or did you feel it only after he switched leads? No, before, before. Th thank you. I would yeah. like to make another comment. Go ahead, well. and just laugh. Uh, Tyler got them. Um, as we can see on the back view, like I previously stated, I was already outside of Louie at that point. You can see he brings the horse back in. He's in his own path, and there's nobody behind him, and all of a sudden he switches out. There's no contact made. My horse never bobbled, never made any stumble. So there's, it's impossible for me to click heels with him. Because if anybody would have been affected, it would have been me, and I would have been I ended up on the ground. So that statement is a little out there. But I'm once again, I'm not blaming Louie. His horse saw something. He's spooked from it. But yeah. that last statement, just I agree. This, this Chris Landeros, I agree 100%. I don't. Louis decided to not do anything on purpose. This was a horse. And you can see it. I mean, he ride a horse day in, day out. He switched leads on him. It's hard, especially at that point of the turn. It's really hard. Turns here are a little tighter than normal tracks. And not big sweeping turns, but tighter turns, longer stretch. It's very hard. Especially, and he's about to let him go. He had horse. He, I felt like he did everything he could. What, what do you, I mean, what do you do? This is Julian, and I agree too um, with Tyler and Luis. I think Tyler didn't clip ears. That didn't make that didn't make uh, maximum security go out. I think he just got spooked. Something we probably will never know. But uh, Luis try his best. You can see how he tries to correct him. Um, so I mean, it was just unfortunate. It was just an accident. Yeah. But I think uh, I think that was the right call for the tour to make. And it's something. It's just an accident, I guess. You know, it's, it happens. It's their their horses and not machines. They get scared of some stuff, and that's it. I'm John Court, and I agree. The horse. It was the horses taking out and veering out, and um, not the disagree with the other three riders that the Luis Sias horse was getting out on his own accord for whatever reason we can try to analyze that from time on in we hear several reasons but I will contribute to the the, uh, the horse is the one that was spotting something or whatever did veer out and that Tyler was in heels at that time But I also would like to reiterate that prior to that action taking place, I will debate and argue with Tyler not bumping me because there are angles that we can still look into where he did bump me before this incident to create the seam to put the head in and create the hole. And at that time when he got through, which was fine, it happens in racing all the time, that was no big deal, but that's about the time when he had moved into that position. Um, is where Louis' horse, Louis's horse, did start to veer out, and there was the chain reaction. I'll use the term coin chain reaction, as Mr. Lapru also used earlier today. If 
I'll ask I'll ask everybody a question. If all if the one horse goes up in this spot next to you and the, and everybody in the seven doesn't veer out, what happens? We all go on about we're, business. We're all good. We're all good. Everything's good. The the fastest horse is gonna go, and the ones that are getting tired just gonna back out of there naturally. Yeah, we're all good. That, I mean, does everybody have that sense? Mm -hmm. Just. I thought the pilot, he, he read the race good, he saw a split, um, but, you know, it's hard when one's, you know, right in front of you, put, you know, like, what do you it do? Just right when he made that move, too. Everything opened up right when it happened, when I needed it to, and I tried to advance, and was, when I was advancing is when the horse came out in front of me, and I just got pushed out. Tyler would have been where Johnny was, or even just a step farther back. I still think we're all okay. I really do. If he's going to shoot up the gap, gives John some room, gives me some room, and the country house going to come around. Just bad timing like that. So. Anything else you want to say? <coughs> Good. <coughs> Luis, is there anything else you would like to say? I have a sense that we're wrapping up, although I don't know that. Um, um I don't think I have nothing to say. I, you know, I think I, 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 I said it true, and that was the happen, you know. Mm -hmm. And the real, the real, uh, I feel like, you know, I, 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 I given a clean ride. I just, in that point, you know, they happened that thing. We never want, I never want that happen. I just. You know, it's pretty bad because it was a big, a big deal race, and yeah. and, and well, it's all right. We gotta keep trying. All right. Thank you. Very good. Thank you all okay. very much. Thank you. Um, did we want to talk about the Steve Cawthon or any of the any of that other stuff? Whatever you can ask while we're recording, what did you want to talk about? Um, in my representation, I've spoken to Pat Day, who's a commission member and a Kentucky Derby winning jockey, uh, Chris McCarran, and Steve Kaufman. Um, Pat Day called me on his own. I did not solicit him. Okay. Yeah, we don't want to talk about That's that. Yeah. Well, what about McCarran and Cawthon? No. Or not that okay. either. This is the None of this. With the yeah, yeah. I, I'm yeah. sorry. We can, we can discuss that in some other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let, it, let me know I didn't broke so sorry. No, I'm okay. sorry. Oh, that's okay. Well, let's, okay. We are going to conclude this. Does anyone other than the, these, this subject, does anyone have anything else to say? No. Okay. Very good. Thank you all for being here. I'm going to hang this Thank up. you. Yes. Thank you very much, Mr. Saez. Do you have any other thing? That's okay. Okay, if you riders will come with me, I'll walk back to the jocks room with you. Too. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Nice meeting all of you gentlemen. Be safe, okay? Especially the old guy.